Okay, so this is the final part of the video. Um, this is my piece of glass that I'm going to use uh, to demonstrate like it's a, a shop door window or the window um, in the shop. This is the sticker, various little bit of tools, bit of masking tape. Um, I've got a, a snitty knife here, um, but I will be using a pair of scissors because this is what most people are going to use. Uh, I've got my application tool. I don't need the knife just in case. Anyway, what I've seen on a lot of YouTube videos, they say, is to prepare the, the, the sticker before you apply it, is to get your application tool and vigorously rub over it to, to try and get the application tape to stick to the lettering. That's okay if it's all nice and flat, but if you've uh, got the sticker and it's got all of that wrinkling and warping in that we've just seen from when I brought it in previously, there's a chance that you might fold over and crease the vinyl, which is going to ruin the whole sticker. So I don't recommend that you do that unless it looks nice and flat and clean. Um, if it isn't like that, what you can do is, is take the application tool and basically just run over each individual part but don't go over the whole thing so you could go like in this particular instance as it's an opening hour and uh, we could just go over each of the days you know just to try and help it along we could just do the phone number here and then the hours yeah it's just to try and help it make it stick better um, once you've actually run over them like that then my personal recommendation whether this is a small sticker like this for a door sticker or even a small decal or even a very large wall sticker. What I suggest you do is you find a large flat surface, work table or a work top and then basically turn the sticker so it's face down and start to peel the paper back away from the sticker. Now I've already started it just to get to this point here but then as you pull the paper back you'll start to feel a bit of resistance where the lettering isn't going to come up like this and all you need to do is just press down and keep working your way whenever it does it just press down just keep doing this until such time as everything uh, as the paper comes up and leaves all of the lettering down you can see I'm just pressing on the back behind the paper so you can do it either way as long as you work your way down the whole of the sticker you can see the dots come up there just roll it back down run over where the dot is go back and you need to do this until basically you've got the paper at least just beyond halfway down the sticker so I'll just keep doing this now this is a bit of a pain and it can be a little bit time consuming but if you do this you'll basically will recover the sticker and when you actually come to apply the sticker it'll just make life so much easier if you don't do this can you imagine if you're halfway through sti sticking the applying the sticker to the window or whatever and then all of this starts happening you get it hanging off the window it's up in the air it's just a real pain so we're just over 50 percent over halfway across so then all i do is just carefully just roll it back down with the flat of my hand turn it around and do exactly the same thing but from the other end so very carefully now we separate this and just work our way back up and again what we'll be doing is just trying to go just past halfway again once you get to the point where you've, you've reached on the other side you'll just feel it go so much easier anyway you know there'll be a big difference as to how it feels so you can see just rubbing over where I can feel the letters through the paper the letters and the numbers you can see it coming up there so just press it down and of course now we've reached that point you can see how easily now it all just comes off and again just lay it back down run it over with the flat of your hand that's now ready to apply basically we know that all of the letters are pretty much going to come off now when we pull the application tape off. If for some reason now you decide not to apply this and you're going to store it away in a cupboard or whatever for two, three, four weeks, couple of months, then you have to go through that procedure again. You do this preparation prior to actually fitting it. 
So don't do this, leave it for a few weeks and then think it's all going to work wonderfully because you'll probably have the same problems again. So do this before you're actually ready to apply it. So once we've done that, that's the main preparation, we take it over to our door, to our window, wherever, and all we do then is we place it where we want on the window or in the door and when we're happy with where it is or roughly where it, where it is where it's going to go just take a couple of pieces of tape it doesn't have to be application tape it can be insulation tape I probably wouldn't recommend sellotape because it's very sticky and very fiddly to get off uh, so you can do this you can then walk outside have a look decide it's not in the right place not you know it's in the wrong place you can take it off and move it around again once you're happy with where you want to stick or where to apply the sticker yeah make sure then that you apply just a few more pieces about the center to make sure that when you start applying it it's not going to drop off the door now I've already cleaned the glass and I, I cover how to clean the glass and prepare that in a different video so I'm not going to go over that here um, and if you look at if you have seen any of the other videos that were made this is pretty much exactly the same method as those and it doesn't matter whether it's a large sticker or a small sticker it's exactly the same sort of method so I've got to this point here now so now I would pull this back and I can do this quite confidently now because we've prepared this and normally obviously the, it would be hanging upright so this would hang down and I wouldn't have to worry about it uh, as it is on the table there is a chance it might fall over forward now normally I would use a snitty tool and just slice that piece of paper off but as I said most people will only have a pair of scissors so make sure they're quite sharp as well and just basically slice across in as straight a line as you possibly can and get rid of that piece of paper make sure that there are no um, scraps of paper that have come off you know like uh, little dust particles or anything make sure that's all clear if you've got a cloth uh, a lint free cloth here's a quick microfiber so we can just wipe the glass yeah and then all you need to do using your application tool is just run very slowly all the way up to the end nice and gently make sure that's stuck down once that's stuck down you can remove all the pieces of the tape that you've used, whether it's application tape or masking tape or uh, not application tape, masking tape or insulation tape. Yeah. And that'll go in the bin. And then basically I'll turn it around this way, I'll turn it around this way actually, because I'm right handed. But then basically you pick the whole thing up where you've stuck it down and that again because I'm quite confident now because we prepared the sticker previously I can pull the whole thing off and then very carefully I can just work my way down until the whole thing's down in place now at this point normally I recommend that you leave this for about 15 20 minutes so it gets to the temperature of the room room temperature and then what you have to do is is you just pick one corner of the application tape and then basically pull it back on itself now you can see there the dot from the eyes just come up now the reason I say normally leave it for 15 or 20 minutes is for it to get warm so that the adhesive settles and spreads properly and adheres to the application surface properly but if any part of the sticker does do that just roll it back down rub over it with your finger and then just carry on again okay so just pull it back on itself keeping an eye out to see if any of the letters or the numbers or the dots come up all the way down And again, you can just run over it with your finger to make it sure everything's down if you want. Don't rub it this way, otherwise you might catch the edge of one of them and pick them off and rip it. So, you know, just press down over it carefully. You can put the application tape, 
fold the application tapes, none of the stick it gets on there, and you can then actually rub over the whole thing like that, just to make sure it's down. But making sure basically that you don't catch any edges. And once that's done, effectively, that is your opening hour sticker applied.